So that's a high spot, and that's a high spot. So that's two, one, that's low, one, low. Low spot number one, low spot number two, five tenths, five tenths. High spot number two, two thou. High spot number one, two thou. Our highs and lows are balanced out now. Overall, it's running out about, about two and a half thou. It's indicated in, it's the best condition. Let's go ahead and grind it. So we'll go to CNC config, I'll sign new workpiece, cancel, update data, start. We're gonna use our probe to register our workpiece. Register the workpiece, left shoulder, arrow, close door cycle start. Move the positioning probe in front of the calibrated surface. So we're gonna touch off the OD. Make sure the probe clears. Now we're gonna go into probe in. That drops our probe into position. Go in Z, come down in X. Check the clearance while you're coming down. We're gonna open our door. As you get close to the workpiece, you wanna be sure to keep your finger on the dead man switch. If it's off the dead man switch, as you move it, the machine won't move. But if you press and hold the dead man switch down, it'll move. So we're moving in X right now. Close the door. Start search. Close door cycle start. Perfect. I touched off an X, so now we're gonna move it over into Z. Open the door so we know what we're doing. Make sure we're in Z. Now we're in our Z position. We're gonna go ahead and close the door. 100%, start search. Close door, cycle start. Now we're gonna grab our mic, take a measurement of our OD. So two inches and two thousand. Now we're gonna put it on our X value dimension, 2.002. .002. Our Z, we don't want it to shift, so we're gonna use Z zero. For our reference dimension is Z for our table. I'll take it down here, 49. So we're gonna leave it at 49, finish. We're gonna go ahead and load our program. Go to process, load. I've already written the program, it's called form grinding and it's labeled program number 10. Open it, when we come to edit, we're gonna make sure our parameters for this particular program are right. So first thing, the tool position is gonna be tool position number four. Angle of the B-axis is gonna be 180. Then we're gonna go down to our picto for our plunge grind. For this, I've told the machine what kind of material that it's gonna be grinding. From here, we go ahead and close this screen out. Go ahead and turn on our thermal stabilization. Thermal stabilization helps keep our diamonds cool and our headstock cool. As you can see, the tool post has a coolant line on each one of the diamonds. So I got our dress taken off eight tenths off each side. We're gonna start dress. So the diamond on the right is gonna come in, it's gonna find the center of that eclipse, go down, traverse the OD, go down, traverse the other OD, and then finally it's gonna come and dress the last OD. After it comes off that wheel, it's gonna to go to the right side. The diamond on the left side is gonna dress the right side of the wheel. It's gonna come in, it's gonna find the middle part of that eclipse, dress down that wheel and off. I was going down to the right side of that wheel where there's another land. Perfect, the wheel's dressed in. Form grinding is putting the finished features onto the wheel itself using a dressing cycle and transferring those features onto said part. So we've already done it on a piece of coal road steel. The wheel itself already has an OD, an eclipse, and three adjacent ODs dressed into it. So now we're gonna transfer those features onto a piece of stainless. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, fellas, let's do it. Since that eclipse is our highest point in that wheel, that's what's gonna hit first, and it's gonna form that eclipse it's gonna grind down, then it's gonna start on the small ODs. So since there's a, there's a bunch of features on there, there's an eclipse, there's multiple ODs, we really gotta pay attention to our sensitron and how the wheel is reacting with the part because this is not just a normal straight wheel. We're removing a lot of material. We got about 90 thousandths to go. To help with my wheel breakdown and my wheel load up, I'm doing three dresses. When it's 50 thousandths away, I'm gonna dress it one more time and let it come in and finish. Coolant placement, once again, is key because we're removing a lot of material. We wanna have those coolant lines in a position that's beneficial for us. That way it'll help wash away that swarf and help keep our wheel free and cool cutting.
As you can see, we're dressing mid-cycle. The radius is almost done forming and we're starting to come down to our step, which is our adjacent ODs. Changing the world, baby. One grind at a time. So we're dressing again. The radius is almost formed. We've got two out of the ODs ground on the left-hand side. So we're gonna come back in. All right, we're sparking out now. I'm over here changing the world though with education. With free education, baby. That's it, baby. I think it looks good. You wanna open the door and check it out? worried about was this mesh blend and this radius, but it came out perfect. As you can see, there's no step for when those diamonds overlap each other. The right diamond is dressing the left side of that eclipse, and the left diamond, which is this diamond, is dressing the right side of that eclipse. And those lined up perfectly, and it gave us a very smooth finish inside of our eclipse.